Welcome everybody to a, uh, a new thing I am doing. Uh, first warning, I did not come up with this. I am nowhere near clever enough to do this. Uh, this is something we actually teased a while back. I was just never able to do, but I finally have the technology slash the guest appearance to be able to do it. Uh, welcome Alex back from Team Satisfaction. Uh, carry my views once again. Uh, anything, any funny words to lead off with? Yes, um, it is my life's mission to make sure that nobody ever enjoys this game ever again. I will make it as miserable as possible for all of you. I just want you to know that. Wise words indeed. Uh, so this is the... Uh, uh, I'm just going to let the replay go and then we'll do all the uh, the funny explanations afterwards. So uh, so walk us through this. What happens here? I'll just, uh, I'll just be hitting the replay and you just explain as we go. Okay, so you need to start with Isolde Access, plus two Warrior Discards. So we're going to start with our Neo Space Connector, summoning out the Dolphin. Obviously, you pitch a card here, but, you know, just to look at their hand, see if you can snipe an Ash. But this uh, combo does not play around hand traps whatsoever. Literally, any card in the game stops you. Uh, good luck. Uh, so, Isolde Effect, uh, search the third red layer, uh, or just, like, whatever monster you're not going to summon. Uh, so then you're going to pitch for four, summon the Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight effect, uh, that sort of deep seed is going to go back to the top of your deck. Uh, Armageddon Knight is going to go ahead and send the Plague Spreader. Uh, Plague Spreader, summon itself out, stack. Uh, tuner access, so we're going to go into a Halk here. Oh, yep, so this is where you know the combo is getting funny. Uh, we're going to summon out the Red Rose Dragon, not the Dusk Battle one. we get to that later. Uh, Power Tool Dragon. Uh, Red Rose Dragon, the trigger here. Go ahead and summon out the White Rose from the deck. Power Tool Dragon is going to use its effect to reveal three different Dimension Reincarnations because this is going to help you activate Armageddon Knight way more times than you probably should be doing. Uh, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade is going to load up that Banished Pile for you. Uh, activate Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, pitch that... Uh, no, the DDR, pitch the, uh, the Phoenix Blade. Oops. Uh, summon out that Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight effect. We're going to pitch the Zephyros from the deck that will allow us to bounce back the DDR to our hand so we can get a four body on our field. Uh, that will send back the Armageddon Knight so we can banish it yet again for the Phoenix Blade. Uh, add that back. Go ahead, DDR. Pitch a warrior this time. This way, we will have enough warriors in the banished pile to pitch for Phoenix Blades later. Uh, we're going to activate this Armageddon Knight for, I believe, the final time. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and overlay these two up for a Dugares. The Dugares we're going to have to summon over there for future reasons. Uh, we're going to attach two Summon the Summoner Monk. Summoner Monk, pitch the Phoenix Blade. Summon Summoner Monk number two. We need to free up our zone, so we're going to link these two bad boys into a Flame Swordsman link. Uh, this will help us just get some extra room so we can make an Apoloza with a Needle Fiber. Yep, playing around Nibiru, 20 summons into the combo. That's the kind of guy I am. I fear no god. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pitch the Phoenix Blade so we can summon our other Summoner Monk from the deck. And finally, we should have enough gas that we can make our last Summoner Monk play, pitching our last activation of Phoenix Blade just so we can get into our Rescue Ferret. From here, we're going to overlay four into our Primathmic Albertian. Now, if you're not familiar with this card, it can detach four materials to search any spell in the game. Or trap, but who's searching traps? Uh, so... <laughs> Here we're going to search Gold Moon Coin. Now, if you're not familiar with this card, this card says you can add two cards from your hand to your opponent's hand, then draw two cards. Uh, see, you may not understand how this is a Dry Tron deck yet, but I, listen, I promise we're getting there. You will see it. I, I promise you. This is a Dry Tron deck. <laughs> we do play Dry Tron cards. So, uh, Rescue Fair is going to go ahead and summon out two Dust Motto Ones uh, and an Infernoble Knight. Uh, Oliver. Then we're going to summon the Codebreaker Zero Day. When this card is link summoned, while it is co-linked, it can summon a uh, Codebreaker Zero Day from your deck to any link zone. I called it Codebreaker Zero Day. Sorry, this thing's called Codebreaker Virus Swordsman. We're going to summon it up to the Apoloza link point onto our opponent's field. Uh, so at this point, if they wanted to impermus, they can't, I guess. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and link these two bad boys off to Reaper Docus. Reaper Docus will make the monsters it points to light. So now they control a face-up light monster. You may know where this is going if you have um, no time on your hands. Uh, we're going to go ahead and link into the Aurora Dawn, pass out tokens. Uh, we're going to summon back our double O one. 
Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and make two heralds with this. Uh, it, yep, yep, more negates. Uh, we're not actually going to use it for this purpose. We're going to use this to search Drytron cards now. So we're going to pitch both of them for the Colt Wing. We're going to get the ability to pass out tokens. And then we're going to get the effect to search out two from the deck. So we're just going to search out the Meteor's Draconids and Meteor's Quadrants. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pass out the tokens with the Colt Wing that we activated earlier in the chain. Go ahead and activate Gold Moon Coin, pass both the Ritual Monsters to our opponent's hand. Go ahead and click on Show Both there, uh, just so that they can see that they are in fact there. It's in the bottom left. Yep. Uh, and so now we're going to make a Synchro Summon with the three tokens and the O1 into a Decisive Armor. Now if you're not familiar, this card says, if your opponent controls a face-up light monster, you can uh, activate one of these three effects. We don't care about any of them except for the last one. It says, send all cards in your hand to the graveyard to look at your opponent's hand and send all light monsters in their hand to the graveyard. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total attack of the opponent's monsters sent to the graveyard. So, as you can see, 4,000 plus 4,000 is 8,000. We're going to pitch their entire hand, burn them for 8,000, say GG, ask them what god they pray to, and send them straight to the Shadow Realm. So, I mean, there are Drytron cards in this Drytron FTK. Yeah, <laughs> um, if I am, I, if I recall correctly, I believe someone made a version of this deck before, like maybe it was MBT, but he was playing like a bunch of banned cards, uh, and you know, that just wouldn't do, right? Like we don't have Link Cross, so I had to find a way to make this even worse than it already was, and I was able to do it with legal cards, so I mean, you could play this, uh, would I recommend playing this? No, uh, I can't think of a reason why you'd ever want to. I think that just the sheer fact that this deck exists should be enough to make you unable to sleep tonight. And, you know, if if I can accomplish at least that, I'll be, I'll be happy. Here's a good reason to pick up your uh, your uh, Collector's Rare Drytrons, by the way. Give your opponents some Collector's Rares and then uh, extend the handshake. Yeah, I wanted to build this deck in paper just so I could hand someone two Collector's Rares and then proceed to uh, kill them with them. However... Um, I'm a starving college student, so like that's not gonna happen. That's our that's our collective effort. We're going to get you the collector's rare so that you can do this to somebody. Uh, oh, I should probably show the deck list just to show you how funny this would be about how you are absolutely not getting to this. And here's the list. Uh, enjoy the blurriness. I don't apologize for that. Um, it's 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 cards. It's yeah. <laughs> it's it's something. <laughs> <laughs> so notice uh notice how many one ofs i'm playing uh see i i believe here's the thing every single time i'm playing a combo deck and there's like two bricks in it i always draw them so i went to myself hey clear the the issue here is that i'm just not playing enough bricks uh so as you can see we're playing one two three four five six seven uh one of monsters uh i mean eight uh, if you count the Armageddon Knight, uh, nine if you count the Aqua Dolphin. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and, and just play like a bunch of spell cards we're never actually gonna activate because no one's ever gonna actually play this, right? 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 Uh, you can you can play uh, the 15th card in the extra deck. You see those three heralds there. Uh, the 15th, uh, one of those three heralds could be anything. You only need two. You're never gonna go into the third one. I just put it there because I couldn't think of what else to play. Uh, I think it'd be really funny if you, like won the dual link dragon and played that in there so if there's any like top two competitive players watching this like please um uh literally you're never gonna open playable with this deck the only way i was ever able to make this happen was by uh <laughs> stacking the hand on purpose and i really think that if you really wanted to play this that it could probably be possible if you played a 60 card version with uh less bricks i mean it's probably a better way to do this than i did it um, however, uh, I figured out how to do it one time, and I am not going back to that, because that is way too much effort, even for me. Um, and I mean, you're talking to a Sky Striker player, right? Like, all I do is set, like, three cards and, and like, have a monster on board, you know, lose to Rageki Break Gang, so... <sighs> this is, this is uh, above my pay grade. I mean, this is the, the, the sheer glory that I am beholding with the, uh... The, the card list here. Uh, M MBT is probably having an orgasm right now. God, I hope so. <laughs> if MBT's watching, uh, my Twitter DMs are open. Uh, j just letting you know, uh, my Twitter 
is hold up i have to open my twitter out of my have to open my twitter i need i need mbt to write dms um <laughs> <laughs> it's at uh new underscore sad uh, i follow you on uh, twitter you may recognize me from your comments section where i say things like i love you and um please respond to my email yeah that, that's about it yeah yeah this was awful this is a travesty uh, i i don't like myself for this you shouldn't like me for this either honestly if uh if I get banned from doing book, I'll just allow it. Like, I won't even be mad. I'll go ahead and rip the band-aid off and uh, close out on that. Uh, links to all their things in the description. Go to his Twitter. I'll leave his Twitter and Team Satisfaction in there. Uh, go thank them for always ensuring that I get my views and my content. Oh, Lord. I, I would say that's about all we got for you. But, uh, I mean, just just look at this. This is You're glad you came here, right? This is... Uh, okay, I'm going to stop dragging this on. Yeah, have a good day. Bye.